Hi everyone, welcome back for another video. Today I wanted to talk about motivation because if you're a student in the UK or a lot of other countries in the world right now, there are a lot of things we're coming up against that can really kind of put a stumbling block in the way of staying motivated around studying and various other things that you're wanting to achieve in life. And the thing that inspired me for this was first of all my a student team colleague um, Nadia so thank you for the suggestion but also I decided to film today because I just moved we, we have a spare like bedroom in my house and since Covid hit and since I've been studying from home so coming up to nearly 11 months now wow um I've been in the back of my house in like our second living room studying but um, today I have moved into the spare bedroom um, because we recently got rid of a single bed that was in here. This bedroom hasn't been used for a very long time really and we kind of kept the single bed for when my sister had sleepovers and stuff and obviously because of Covid they've not really been happening so yeah we sold the bed. So now the room is free and I'm going to make it into like a little study kind of office-y space. The wardrobes will be staying however. But yeah, so that might be next month's video will be me kind of sprucing up the room and making it a bit more office-like. But yeah, so the first tip on motivation I have, number one, is to get a change of scene. And now... You know, I'm quite lucky in having the option to move into the spare room. I understand not everyone has that, but a change of scene can be so many things. You know, move your desk into a different area of the room that you're in. Study on the dining table for a change. You know, usually I'm not an advocate for studying in your bedroom because usually, you know, I say that we should separate like chilling out time or chilling out spaces from focus and study spaces. But I think considering the situation, you know, study in your bedroom for a day um when the weather's nicer you know go study in the garden whatever just get a change of scenery to really shake things up a bit i think i found being in here even just this morning is really helpful i was yesterday i was really up against a bit of you know i'd hit a wall in terms of motivation and i kind of spent all day trying to do uni work and i read about six pages and it's kind of like you know days like that are so frustrating because i might as well have just took the day off um and recouped and tried again but just being in a new room this morning i feel a lot more focused and i've already read a whole article nearly which is the total opposite of what happened yesterday so my first tip is to get a change of scene go a walk change your room around just something tip number two that i have is to write a list now I'm a huge fan of lists, as some of you might have realised from previous blog posts and my Instagram um, stories in the past, but I love a list and I think that we can really use them to harness motivation because I think that, you know, that act of writing something down and completing it and ticking it off and know you've achieved that in, in whatever time frame that you gave yourself to do it in, it really does give you a sense of validation and a sense of excitement, you know, that you achieve something good um so what i do is i write a list every single day of what i plan to do that day i often write the night before if i'm honest and i color code it so i color code i use say yellow for everything that i absolutely have to do so anything to do with deadlines or reading for classes or anything like that and then i color code everything that i would like to do on top of that in a different color so say green or whatever and that way I don't feel disappointed if I don't tick off everything that I plan to do or would have liked to have done but then if I do manage to do a couple of extra tasks that I maybe didn't need to but wanted to achieve you know there's an like an even deeper sense of appreciation or satisfaction with my day um so you know it's not putting too much pressure on you but it also is allowing for you to Feel like you've succeeded so for, for me that really motivates me and you know looking at my list and thinking okay i want to take this off and this off and this off today it just kind of spurs me on and then when you get to tick it off at the end that feels pretty good too so yeah i'm a big fan of a list you know if you've not done it before start small make um a brief vague plan for the week and then don't worry about you know doing daily lists or daily plans and then you can go into that after if you find that it's helpful but yeah personally i make a plan for the week 
and then I make go ahead and make daily lists as well to keep on track keep me motivated keep me um kind of just on top of everything as well really so yeah so and then my third and final tip for motivation is to make visual goals you know remember why you're doing what you're doing so for me a big thing recently has been that i was working towards my master's applications um and for me every time that i kind of felt a lull in my essay writing when i was doing my assignments over christmas i was like no you want to do really well in these assignments so you can submit them for your sample work for your master's applications and that really just kept me kind of ticking over and going and motivated me to carry on and then you know this semester now that my applications have gone in my goals will be something different so now you know my goal is to graduate with the grade that i'm in my head hoping for you know think that i deserve or think that my academic work you know reflects does that make sense um so that will be my next goal is thinking you know like i just want to graduate and i want to do as well as i think i deserve to do and i will only do as well as i think i deserve to do if i put the effort in and that keeps me motivated to keep going and if you can make those goals visual then even better because it just there's, there's a you know a lot behind it that i won't go into in this video but just make them visual because it helps to spur you on even more the way the way our brain our brains work so what i was doing when i was doing my master's applications was i, I had a notebook with all the different things that i needed to achieve for that written down so i could keep looking at it and think okay i've got to do it for that i've got for you it's graduating with a specific grade then you know get a post-it note and write that grade down and stick it on your laptop so you can keep looking at it and visualizing that two one or that two uh, or that first or whatever it is you're aiming for or if it's a specific career that you're hoping to go into you know print a picture of that off and stick it to the wall like it sounds so silly but every time you look up and see that it will spur you on um it will keep you motivated it will help you harness motivation when you really need it because just when you're at that pinnacle of feeling like you're about to burn out or i mean take a break if you feel like that but you know feeling like you've hit a wall or anything then seeing that will help you remember what it's all about because you know you're not just doing this for the crack you're not just doing this for a laugh i mean it very rarely is so you know you're doing it for a reason and remembering that is really important to keeping you motivated and keeping you going I think that was that was awfully rambly but hopefully helpful so tip number one get a change of scene tip number two make a list and tip number three make visual goals you know remember what it's all about yeah hopefully that's helpful i hope you guys are safe and well and making the best of this situation that we're all in i know it's so difficult I often want to throw my laptop at the window because we have awful Wi-Fi in my house and it's so difficult to complete final year with bad Wi-Fi um, amongst various of the different things, you know, that we're all dealing with and we're all dealing with our own things on top of all that. But I'm sending you all love, I'm sending you all motivation and good vibes and we can all do this um, and we'll get to the end of this academic year and hopefully next year there will be more sense of normality. I will also make a slight epilogue to this video and say that I used to give talks on study skills and various different things like revision and memorization and revision, I already said revision, and exam skills and time management and all of these different things. So I am very well trained and very well equipped to answer your questions on all of those different areas. So please feel free to message me on unibody and you know and ask more questions about this i would love to give you tips and tricks that i've learned um in my past career like doing that kind of thing and that's kind of where i found out the thing about visual goals i've forgotten the exact kind of study about it hence why it probably sounded like i was plucking something out of thin air because i'm not a scientist but I do know that it's true you know our brain remembers images and diagrams a lot easier than it does numbers and words so yeah that's how i know that 
so yes, I'll leave it there. That's essentially what I'm trying to say is, you know, I feel I am quite well equipped to answer any questions you have on studying pretty much. And I've also been doing it quite intensely for a long time. So um, yeah, please feel free to ask me any questions. I'd be more than happy to help as best I can. I nearly fell off my chair. I'm gonna leave this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I really love these chatty videos. I feel like I can just really be myself and just give you guys some genuine tips and advice. Um, if you'd like to see a different style of video, please let me know. That's absolutely fine too. I'm happy to do more vlog style stuff, but I love just sitting down and, you know, waffling on basically. But yeah, thank you for watching. Ciao. I'll see you guys next month.